guys and welcome back to the channel. Thought I'd check in with a quick one week review of the Tissot PRS200 Swiss Quartz Chronograph. Um, so yeah, after wearing it for a week, um, yeah, it's a pretty cool cool watch. I've main, mainly worn a couple of times um, on casual occasions. Um, yeah, mainly because of the, uh, the black dial. Um, but yeah, all in all, so far happy with the watch. Um, it really has that really nice Gilliche um, textured dial um, with the red accents. Um, it just has a, yeah, a sapphire crystal on the top, so you get this really clean um, reflection, which is really nice. Um, and also, um, yeah, the T-stamp and the, uh, the black um, uh, chrono pushers. And also, yeah, what I realized recently, um, actually also has a screw down crown, um, which is pretty, pretty cool in the design. Um, yeah, the, uh, the bezel mechanism, um, is quite, quite sturdy. You can hear those, uh, clicks. And yeah, it has a pretty, uh, snappy chrono mechanism, um, which I'm pretty impressed with. I'll give you guys a little look here. Boom. Um, yeah, so a couple of things that I don't like about the watch, uh, which have become pretty apparent um, wearing it. Um, the main one is probably this kind of pseudo deployant clasp um, that comes on the stock band. Um, so it kind of clips in but there's no release for the, the catch so it's actually really hard to um, snap off once it's on the wrist. Um, but anyway like I was saying in the last video I'm probably thinking about changing it onto a black NATO strap or like my friend was suggesting um, maybe like a matte um, stainless steel strap to give it a bit of a stealth look. Um, yeah, the other thing was, I mean, due to the uh, the dark grey or the black dial, it's definitely not a nighttime watch. Um, and also the loom is uh, not very strong, so I'll just put a, a little clip in now. But as you can see, it has, it has a really nice aqua blue type of look. Um, but yeah, the uh, loom on the minute and hour hands and around the markers every five minutes is really, really not that bright. So it's kind of hard to make out the time anyway at night. Um, and yeah, the other little small point was it does sit a little high. I think it's about 12 millimeters on the wrist. But yeah, it's nothing that's uncomfortable or um, yeah, too out there for a, a sports casual watch anyway. Um, so yeah, it is it's still comfortable. I'll give you a a wrist shot with it on. Yes, yeah, so the matte black leather with the, the red contrast stitching is pretty cool. Um, but yeah, this mechanism is just, yeah, I'm just not feeling it, so I'm going to change it anyway. So yeah, nice, nice size, case size at 42 millimeters to the crown, I believe. Um, but yeah, all in all, pretty happy with the watch. Um, yeah, really nice wearing casual. Um, outings in the summer here. Um, so yeah, that's my little mini review after one week. Um, yeah, if you like the uh, video, don't give, forget to give it a like and leave a comment. Um, and if you enjoy the watch videos, don't forget to subscribe and share the channel. But yeah, that's it for now, guys. Um, and I will catch you in the next video. Bye, YouTube.